Deep in the heart of Texas live a Sufi community of over a hundred men, women and children. Drawn from nationalities all across the world, they are led by Sheikh Abu Ali Fatah. This community was originally established by Sheikh Fadlallah al-Ha'iri as a refuge for people that they could come to and uh, learn about Islam. The world is important from the standpoint of your actions within it. The Prophet وسلم, said, Ad dunya mazra'atul akhira. This world is the planting field for the hereafter. This is the field of action. When Allah in the Quran speaks of iman, which is the word that we translate as faith, it's always connected with action. This is the place where there is action and no reckoning. We're coming to the place where there's reckoning and no action. The only thing that you go with when you die is your good actions. That's your, we call it Zad al-Mi'ad. That's your, your provision for the return. That's what you take with you. You don't take anything else. The Prophet got his knowledge of the Quran from Allah. Ali got it from the Prophet. He said, and I got my knowledge. People ask, why am I dressed this way? Or, you know, is, as, look at it as an oddity or an oppression in some way. I very much don't find that so. And I find women dress scantily, more and more scantily as the fashion dictates. Uh, not, I don't feel they're particularly happy with it. Their body language doesn't show that. They're trying, pulling down on this skirt and pulling down on the sleeve. And I feel very often they're, they're feeling ashamed or embarrassed. A man's realm of action is out in the world. He goes out to work. He goes out to seek his provision. A woman's realm is generally in the home. In other words, she's suited best for things that uh, keep her tranquil. And if you have to go out into the world, you know, that's very hard to do, to keep tranquil going out. A Sufi is, I had explained to me once, I went to a, a scholar when I was living in Qatar, and I asked him what a Sufi was, and he told me, a Sufi is a good Muslim who outwardly follows the Sharia and inwardly seeks f the inward meaning behind the outward law. A Sufi is a traveler on the path and although it looks like his feet are walking on the earth, they're walking on the soil of his heart, on the land of his heart. He's making the journey through his heart. Nuruddin Durki is an American Sufi now happily exiled in Egypt. Like all Sufis, he does not believe life ends with death, but that we are eternal beings. I think everybody is interested in paradise on earth. I think that that's what everybody wants, and that's why everybody's here, and that's what the purpose of it is. Uh, in, 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 in the Quran, Allah says uh, to those who believe, Udkul Jannati, enter my garden the garden being paradise. He doesn't say that, and, and in Quran everything is important exactly in how the God says what he says, how Allah says what he says. He says, Udhkuli, which is enter it, not in the future, now, in the present. O oh, you whose nafs are mutmayin, O oh, you whose self has become pacified, enter my garden. Pleased and well-pleasing. Hmm? 
O oh, you slave of mine, O oh, you servant of mine, enter my garden. The realization, not as words, but as reality, that I am an eternal being, that I am a creature of the most compassionate God, huh? that that is my true nature. Not as an idea, but as an internal living reality. That is who I am. By accident of birth, I appear to you as I appear. But by reality of being, I am an eternal spiritual being who is serving his time on earth right now. That is what I know, not what I think. That is what I know. This world, the world of the mulk, the world of the creation, is a world of appearances and it is a reflection of a world of truth and the interspace is in that knife-like edge that exists between this world of creation and the world of pure meaning if you like called the malakut so that at the same time that i know that I am this eternal spiritual being. I know that I'm living in this world and I have my wife and my children and my job and my work and I have to do this and I have to finish that and get this done and do that. And I live right on that knife edge all the time. That is the interspace so that you never fall off into being totally out there hmm, or totally in there in the inner nor do you ever fall off totally into being in the outer. You live right on that line all the time. The mystic, Irina Tweedy, talks of the importance of letting go of the self in order to reach God. She also believes there is no necessary connection between Sufism and Islam. The Sufi says that the only evil in the human being is the little self. It is called in Arabic, nafs. The training of the human being to the spiritual life is to help the human being to get rid of the ego. Two masters cannot live, cannot live in one heart, said my teacher. Either the little self or that with capital T, which you can make, which you can call God if you like. So the first thing the teacher will do, he will try to help you to get rid of this important, all-important I, the me. Sufism is to discover yourself and be yourself and get on with life in its most natural way and live your life fully and joyfully and know, because you will come to know, that there is behind it another process, another dimension. It is the discovery of God within us, which is the knowledge that will save us from this continuous, unending, if you like, uh, strive, which is barren. That is why you find people, if they do not have a spiritual dimension, they end up destitute, no matter how much they have attained in the endeavor that they have been pursuing. They, are, they will never be satisfied. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Sufism's classical definition is that this is the journey of the, of the slave to the king. In other words, it is the conscious 
path of a human being from the minute he comes into self-consciousness that he's alive and that he's going to die until he reaches the end. And one more thing, some people die never knowing that they took this path of life.